A new generation of biohackers is tinkering with DNA to create plants with new colors. At the School of Visual Arts in Manhattan, plant researcher Sebastian Cachobo is trying to create genetically modified plants, mostly from information he learned on the internet. One of his pursuits in the school's bioart lab? The Blue Rose, considered the holy grail of horticulture. I think the main reason why people are trying to make blue plants is because there are very few, if not any, blue plants out there that are manipulatable or growable in a specific condition. Basically because those high saturation colors just simply do not exist in nature. GMOs, or genetically modified organisms, have drawn a considerable amount of controversy, with concerns about the potential impact on health and the environment. Kachobo doesn't think such worries apply to projects like his. The main argument I would have towards anybody who would contest us uh, going through with this project is the fact that it'll be contained and it's a plant. So we're not uh, working with pathogens or any other type of human or mammalian tissue. Suzanne Anker sees the process as more of an art project than a science experiment. Artists here use science as a tool, so they are not engaged in research in the same sense that a scientist would be. Blue is kind of an area of wonder. Children say, why is the sky blue? All the time, that's one of their first questions. And I think that is in part the, the background of this. But I do think that even if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter because it's art. The process is meticulous and complex. It all comes down to identifying and manipulating a specific gene that could give the plant its color. The gene in question, called AE Blue, produces a beautiful cerulean hue in bacteria. It's never been tested in plants as far as I know. So this will be the first time that we actually try to put it into a plant. With the project about halfway done, Kachobo is still tackling problems. But he says even if it fails, the experiment won't be a loss. In an ideal situation, in another three months, we'll have our blue plant. Worst case, it might not work at all. And that's, that's the risk that we're, we're willing to take and that's the risk that we want to attempt because even a failure might be useful in terms of understanding the processes at hand.